it's just Manu is here to talk to you guys about today's trade I have no idea what happened today no I did not blow my account I just quickly wanted to go over what happened long story short the trade lost it and I was like you know what I'm only 0.2 percent drawdown so I can take another trade took a trade obviously lost it and then I just kept on revenge trading today and I can't tell you um, why it happened. I think a bit of it was me being careless, selfish, all the ish really <laughs> was a whole joke today. And um, I'm recording this, um, I already beat myself down. So there's really nothing anyone can say. I can't beat myself down anymore. <laughs> I already did it but then i thought you know what money just give yourself grace um because i was at a point where i was 0.5 percent drawdown and then i thought you know what people will kill to be just 0.5 percent drawdown and i obviously was like no let me let me just take one more trade <laughs> let me just take one more trade i mean well, what could happen you already know what happened i was even i was down like 1.5%, which is still not bad. Um, but now as I'm speaking about this, I'm realizing that I'm just tired of breaking even. I'm just tired of seeing myself break even every week or every month. Like I was doing good October, November, even December when I barely traded and I, you know, and then seeing myself breaking even I'm feeling like it doesn't even matter because a lot of people would kill to just break even instead of lose money. And I just, I, I was just tired of breaking even. And I think I just need to get over that. Um, I did take one more trade and it brought my account back to break even. And I think this is where I need to just be okay where I'm at. I need to be okay with that, this break even season because Maybe I'm close to somewhere. Maybe I'm close to profitability. I don't know, but that's. I think that's why I was like taking trades back to back, because um, I was just tired of breaking even. But what you know, enough. Moving forward, what do I plan to do? I have three pairs that I usually trade, which is GJ, GU, and AU. And then I did add UJ because I back tested UJ, and I was like, yo. UJ is actually pretty good. Like I like I like the way UJ moves, but I realized that because the fact that I can't control or I'm still having issues with revenge trading and over trading, I think I'm just gonna fall back from all these pairs and just stick to AU. Um, it is a sl slower pair, so maybe I'm able to catch the moves a lot, not faster, but I'm able to um, see the the moves a lot clearer instead of it moved being a fast pair and not able to catch the moves. So I'm just going to stick to AU. I'm glad that I'm back to break even because even though I was tired of seeing break even numbers, I'm glad that I'm back. And that's just such a trader, trader of me. Like I feel like talking to another, you know, someone that's not a trader saying, Oh, I over traded or I did this. And they're like, why did you, why can't you just stop doing these type of, like why why do you keep over trading why do you keep you know these type of questions would be asked from a non-trader like why do you keep over trading why do you keep revenge trading and only traders would truly understand and it's really a psychology thing like you hate losing you hate not seeing progress but not realizing that there is progress even though um it's not the progress that you want to see and i'm just i'm over it <laughs> i've got to move forward beat myself down enough and I'm giving myself grace and just kind of just have to move forward but other than that I'm keeping sticking to AU and I am going to stick to 0.5 uh, lock size and just gonna work my way up to I don't care to move my lock size anymore I just want to just want to pass this this uh, challenge get my first payout and be done with it someone did ask me what uh, prop firm I'm using I am not going to share that information only because I don't mess with that prop firm 
And the reasons why, because their rules is really messed up. I, I understand that every prop firm has their rules, but let's be honest, some, some of those rules are really there to have traders fail. Um, so I'm not going to say their, <clears throat> say the company's name. If you know, you know, most of you guys know because this was a time a lot of the traders, a lot of traders were advertising this, this um, prop firm and you know, I was not about to be one of them because I'm like, nah, these, these rules are messed up. Yeah, you can follow them, but nah, really not cool. Just want to take a moment to say if you're in a space, if you're if you're in this like break even season, your time is coming. Understand that it's for a reason. Hey, if you're at break even season, it's for a reason. You got this. Always remember when you follow your plan money becomes a fan. Look at me telling y'all, follow your plan. Money becomes a fan and I'm not even doing that. Do as I say, don't do as I do, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.